Hello everyone. So what you see before you is a Masterlock 570 that I managed to pick open. Not single pin pick fully. I uh, used the Praxis 15,000 Snake to get a false set. And then I went back there and hit um, the high set pin in the back with the, uh, this, the Forest Diamond. Also in 15 thousandths. Here's the bitting. What's unique about this is um, I once had a Master Lock 570 that I couldn't get open. I didn't have it for very long. And uh, oops, there went my whole set. Everything went flying. Sailing. Had to pick all that crap up. But um, I couldn't get it open and I sent it to pick a holic. And I asked him to put it on video just to make sure it wasn't one of those locks that nobody could open. And he picked it open. He said, yeah, it was difficult. This one was also was difficult. Um, I sat there for about 10, 15 minutes uh, just trying single pin picking and not getting a, um, a whole lot of anywhere. And then I tried, I tried a Bogota, just a Bogota itself. But I was able to get this guy open. Um, by raking. I uh, doubt I'll be able to do that again on camera because it's on camera. It's locked, but I'll just try to demonstrate the technique that I use. I was using bottom of the keyway tension because this thing, when it puts in there, when it sits in there just right, it tensions it perfectly. And you're not going to be able to get past that ledge too much anyway. And then I used the snake to get up in there and just try to set uh, pins. Oh, actually, I had that uh, Mad Bob top of the keyway tension up there. I was just using this guy really more as a ledge. No, I don't remember. Hmm. This is the 1.0 one. I was single pin picking it. We'll see. I get confused. Easily confused. Easily amused. But anyways, uh, I didn't get an open with the uh, the snake, but I, I felt like, you know, maybe I had set some pins, you know, by doing this. So that's when I switched over to the, uh, the Praxis in 15 thousandths, the diamond, and I went in here and I was just pushing around on pins, and I got it open and I went, whoa. Of course, you know, I, I turned the camera on, figuring, you know what, maybe I can do that again on camera. But, I doubt this, but anyways, I do know that I can open this one, so I can set him aside. and Because I like to capture him on camera, if at all possible, if I can pick him open. Um, but I did just want to put in there that uh, I can get these 570s. The other one that I had that I uh, sent off to Pickaholic, I basically got tired of messing with it. That's before I started setting myself a a 10 minute time limit per, you know, like videotaping and stuff like that. And I was going 30, 45 minutes trying to mess around with that puppy. Um, but anyways, like I said, I doubt if I'll, I'll be able to, because I, I messed around with it. I did, it didn't take very long once I did the snake rake method, you know. I just went in there. Oh, see, I, I got a full set right now. Give me my pick back. <laughs> Look, he's got a hold of it. Give it to me. Come on. I think this guy got hung up underneath the tension wrench down there. I lost everything doing that. Nasty little snaggle. But, uh, anyway, that's what that open came from, was me doing that. I just wanted to throw that in there. I doubt if I'll be able to pick this open. But at the end of this video, I also want to tell you something about that uh, Chinese dimple lock that I picked open. I was messing around with the um, uh, American Bypass uh, tool from... Sparrows, 
on it. And this thing is incredibly easy to bypass. I guess all thumb turns, uh, Euro type cylinders are susceptible to bypass, but it's it's really bad how easy it is to uh, get in there. All right, let me, let me just demonstrate that since I already. So here's that uh, El Cheapo lock, right? And it's a it's a dimple lock. And that's uh, I guess the cylinder that be locked up in the door. And uh, I noticed when I went in here that this, this thing's springy. You know, look at I mean, you can let me get in there. Ow. I did it really easily earlier. I was even trying to use this as a flag <laughs> to get in here and pick this guy open. But I did this earlier and once again you can see it hitting the ass. There it goes. See? See the thumb turn? Pretty easy to bypass. Like I said, I wouldn't even put it on my hamster's cage to lock them in because they're pretty smart. They get their exercise too on those little wheels. So there you go. Um, sort of recorded that, uh, you know, the 570 had been open. I'll mess around with it again and try to capture it on the camera. But that's how I got it open. And that makes me feel a little bit better. But those are very fun locks to play with and they're, they're cheap. And I'd like to be able to drill out that top and pull the core out because that would be cool to have a replaceable core. But I'd probably mess up the drilling process. Although I got a set of uh, taps and uh, grub screws and everything. So I hope everyone's enjoying themselves. The sun has actually come out for once in Texas. And it's not raining and cold and miserable like it has been for the last week. It's actually quite nice today. So cheerio and have everyone happy picking. <laughs>